Well, g'day ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to another vlog. In this one, we're making a behind the scenes video about the Appenzella that I'm making today, and maybe some butter, we'll have a look. But anyway, uh, let's enjoy the day. So we're um, sanitizing all of the uh, the equipment there, and I've already done the, the sink side, of course. Uh, you saw that in the time lapse. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be an exciting cheese. First time I made this Swiss style cheese, so Appenzella, uh, and it has a wash on the outside of it with uh, white wine, brevi bacteria, linens, bit of salt, and some special herbs and stuff. And well, that's the timer just gone off for me to turn off this. Here we go, all turned off. So I'll lay all that out and we'll get started. So I've sanitized all of the, uh, the gear as you can see there and set the pot up. Got my milk all ready to go. And uh, yeah, there it is. And the camera rig. And my modified recipe. So we've got the milk in the pot and it's ripening now. So um, there we go, 45 minutes, we've got about 39 to go. So I'm gonna go and take the culture, back, put it back in the freezer in the studio and then come back and do some stuff on my PC, answer some business emails. So a successful curd split, I've cut the curds, I've stirred it. Now we're gonna wash the curds in a minute, I'm just letting them settle. They're about the size of a plump grain of rice at the moment, which is perfect, what we want it to be. And uh, then I'm gonna wash the curds with uh, some water just to lower the acidity a little bit. Uh, and then we'll get on and stir it for a little bit longer, and then we can press it. So I've got the, uh, the cheese in the press now, and we're just doing the first pressing, which kind of like consolidates the, the rind of the cheese. So uh, there it is there, looking good. So in 30 minutes I'll come back and I'll flip it over and press it at a higher pressure. So I just finished uh, pressing, well, we'll put the cheese in the press, so all the curds are in the press uh, for the Appenzella and I'm, well, what do I do now? Well, it, it'll come out of the press in the morning, so I'm gonna get up early, about six o'clock, and we'll put it into the brine about then. But for now, I basically have to clean up all of these pots, so we'll get that done now. You really don't want your pots sitting around too much because if they've got curds stuck to the sides, then you're gonna find that you're gonna get uh, what's called cheese stone, which is really hard bits of curd stuck on and the, it's very difficult to get them off. So get your pots cleaned as quick as possible. So last night, uh, we saw a huntsman spider in the studio here. So I'm gonna have a quick look. I'll take you on a bit of a journey, see what we can see, shall we? See if we can find him. Don't know what I'm gonna do when I do find him, but we'll see. We don't normally hurt them, just let them back outside again because they are beneficial spiders and they eat all sorts of uh, bad things, including bad spiders, so. Anyway, let's go and have a look for the huntsman. Right, can we see, you know what he was? He was up here yesterday. So I don't know where he's gone, let's have a look. Is he up behind the tree, the pretend tree? Can't see him. All right, what about in here? Maybe he's in here. I like to hide in corners. No, that's not a huntsman. I thought it was for a second. No. Oh, where is he? 
No, he's not on the track, is he? On the light track? No. Oh, goodness me. I'm going to be looking for weeks for this spider. It's not any there. They usually come out at night time, so I'll be in here editing tonight. Um, having a few beers while I'm doing the editing. But we'll see how that goes. See if we can find Harry the Huntsman. Now, Kim was actually losing sleep last night because she didn't want a Huntsman in her studio. She's scared that it's going to drop down off the roof uh, onto her head or something like that anyway. But, uh, yeah, so my mission today, apparently, is, besides making the uh, Appenzella cheese, is to find the Huntsman. Anyway, don't like my chances until maybe night time because I do like to come out at night because they like to get, catch the insects. There's, uh, there's no insects in here, so we'll check it out anyway. So as I mentioned before, uh, I had to wait till night time for the Huntsman. So I've actually, he's back again. I'll have a quick look. This is gonna be, oh, I don't know if we're gonna get rid of him, but we'll, we'll see. I wanna get him off the roof and catch him somehow. So I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do. But anyway, let's have a look at the wee Huntsman. Here he is there. Can I zoom in? Let's have a look. Here he is. So that's, uh, that's five times magnification. But he... He's a, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Can't tell. But there he is. That's what we get here in Australia. I'm trying to keep him in shot. But yeah, he's... Uh, shall I move? Can I move, Mr Huntsman? No. No, I'll leave it at that. Hang on, I'll get back to normal size. So that's that's him there. Or her. I'm not sure. Hang on, I'll try and get him... I don't know, get a cup or something and put it up there. We'll see what happens. If <laughs> I'm going to film this, so we'll see, see if it's for shits and giggles. Right, so we're focused on the Huntsman. Let me get the step ladder. Still there. <laughs> Scary. He's in there. Can you see him? <laughs> Here he is. Harry Huntsman. So I'll go let him outside now. And this is uh, evidence for Kim that I caught him. Quick, I'm gonna go, go check him out. Here he goes. Oh, I think he's chasing me. There he is. So that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? We got uh, Harry the Huntsman, and uh, that capped off a rather interesting day. So not only did we make Appenzella, but we caught a huntsman that was roaming around in the studio and uh, Kim will be very excited that I caught it. So that'll give me some man cred. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everybody uh, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.